Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Welcome back. Hope you guys are all doing real well. We want to thank our newest Patreon. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to Barrett. He's our newest Patreon, keeping us up and running. Thank you, Barrett. Thank you for your support. We couldn't do it without you guys. So let's see what's going on as the big reveal, the big apocalypse keeps moving forward. The realization that, yes, again, you're hard-pressed to find any conspiracy theories anymore because they've all been proven to be fact. Federal government actively coercing social media companies to suppress the opinions of others. Absolutely. You know, it's verified. And the Supreme Court heard oral argument in this case, the NCLA's Mur Murthy versus Missouri. There is so much being revealed right now. It, it's for some people, I think it's really got to be earth shaking. For others, it feels very vindicating. Well, I mean, we, we have plenty of our own uh, suppression and we've been through it for three years on evolutionary. They took our they, they took our, our sucker away. <laughs> well, they did. They did. And right now, they, they re-monetized Evolutionary. However, they make it so that it the amount of ad revenue that it makes is the same between the two channels, uh, even though you know, we've been really consistent with putting out videos. We don't do it for the money. Uh, in fact, we, we would do better making less videos in reality and focusing on what we do for work but we do it to awaken the planet and that's our main purpose is to awaken others and awaken others to their potential uh, because the system has not been helping any of us none of us and the good news is you know that is really really coming out and there's there's tape that you could listen to uh, if you go through the link over to Gateway Pundit, uh, where you could hear the Supreme Court Justice Kentanji Brown Jackson just saying, you know, hey, sometimes the government has to overrule the people's right to free speech because we know better, basically. Yeah, the government's corrupt. All the governments of this world are corrupt. They're, they're all irrefutably corrupt. And they give us the choice between bad and worse. And people say, well, what else am I going to do? I got to go for the bad because I don't want the worse. We don't want the system. That's the part that we have to really change is the entirety of the system. And, you know, saying, well, sometimes the First Amendment has to be thrown out the window. Absolute tyranny is really what they want. And in reality, we do have absolute tyranny. We are just allowed to vent a little bit, but not really too much because, again, the government can take your property at any time. It, there's so many instances of different scenarios uh, where you're going to have some sort of emergency that is a declaration of national disaster or, you know, something that threatens the entirety of the nation itself and yeah you know, we understand we now that we've been through a major lockdown starting in 2020 they have more plan they have more plan we we know that and google who owns youtube owned by alphabet and when you look at the connections on who who founded it and the ties to 23andMe and all these different ties that ultimately come back to the same system, they interfered in U.S. elections to help the left 41 times since 2008. So says the report. And here's Elon. Elon is, is apparently just tattletailing on the system, but you have to recognize, and I know you guys get it, that's all part of the plan because now they're going to sacrifice the system just like they're going to sacrifice NATO and the U.S. and its allies. This is what they do. They do a lot of sacrifices, more than people probably realize. War itself is one of their sacrifices. We don't need these wars. We don't have to have these wars. They're manufactured to make profit. They're manufactured to 
provoke a certain response and also to maintain control and also <laughs> to constantly erode any sort of rights that we think we have. So, you know, obviously they, they will definitely sacrifice certain people, which are all puppets. Everything we see, every person we see is just a puppet. There's much, much more powerful beings behind all that we see. But here it is all coming out. Oh, boy. People are really getting fed up. Under the Online Harms Act, social media companies that don't follow orders of the Federal Digital Safety Commission could be threatened with fines of hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, nationalization of social media. That That's already happened. You know, look to the pre previous tweets. It's just getting worse. And meanwhile, we have their, their round robin was a word that, you know, Cindy picked up that they use that term. The, the real controllers use the term. There must be some sort of code name round robin that perhaps the upper echelon uh people really do recognize and know for the movement of groups of peoples from one area to another in order to move forward their agenda. And yes, those numbers, I've seen quite a few people referencing them saying, you know, they only really want half a billion, maybe a billion, something more manageable on the planet. They, they certainly are outnumbered by us. Of course, the technology that is available to them is mind-blowing, and we'll be seeing more and more of that as time goes on. But what we have to do is we have to move past accepting another one of their solutions. And here, here you have Haiti. They're evacuating a 1,000 Americans that have been stranded as the armed gangs unleash new attacks on the capital. The Haiti situation is uh, atrocious, and they want to basically give it to everybody. Uh, this is how the system works. Thousands of Haitians dumped in the U.S., but the DHS won't say where. 133,000 arrived in just one city that the Biden administration will not identify. And sorry there about that. Here you have some people being opportunistic, robbing people in Spain, uh, but the citizens of Spain grab them and hold them down and uh, control them until the uh, police can come, and they'll probably just be released the next day mm -hmm. or maybe even the same day. I think that's where we're going to find ourselves at is uh, we're going to have to watch out for each other and take care of each other through through some of these times and do things for ourselves. You know, I don't advocate anyone get themselves in trouble in any way, shape or form. Um, but I don't know that we're going to have a lot of choice because cutting back on uh, the police force everywhere or doing things so that they are not able to do their job, cutting back on um, dispatch operators, cutting back on police themselves when towns are kind of overrun. I mean, there's only so many to go around, and that's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So we might really find ourselves uh, reinventing, you know, the neighborhood watch programs and, and stuff like that might become very, very important. Yeah, I do. That is that is actually happening in many places. People are banding together and supporting each other. And, and that's a good thing. It is going to just keep getting more dangerous as these times go on. I would again recommend um, getting out of the way of trouble because that's always the first thing we want to do is get out of the way of trouble. Uh, here you have a Mexican TikToker, over 300,000 followers, basically telling people that, yeah, you know, and you go into the U.S., if a house is not inhabited, you can go in there and they legally can't kick you out. So why don't you go find some empty houses? And there you go. You got free housing. And this, this is somebody that has 300,000 uh, subscribers and of course everybody's aware of what's going on with TikTok and CCP and etc cetera, etc cetera. you know um, yeah get ready for a civil war well yeah 
not, it's not going to be much of a civil war, I don't think, because you're going to have that WW3 happening, too. And you have Putin warning of that full-scale WW3 if the West sends troops to Ukraine, like Macron has been saying has to be done. NATO troops on the ground. Um, it, we mentioned before the Polish psychic, Kristoff, that uh, Peter, our friend in Poland, keeps track of. And really what he does is more akin to uh, remote viewing uh, situations. He'll, he'll take a piece of paper with something written on it, put it to his forehead, and give impressions. This sounds crazy to some people, uh, but this type of ability is exactly what is going to be the norm if you are not going to merge with the Borg Collective, steer clear of any of the nano-nano that's out there, and allow nature to activate your DNA, which is what the sun is doing and the galactic energies are doing, we're going to have many people, if not the majority, that that steer clear of the system having these types of abilities. They can't pull the wool over our eyes. And this is why people are waking up. This is a big part of why people are waking up. It's like the glamour, the black magic that they've put over people is it's not working anymore. Not on some. Now on some that have gone down that route and they're still, you know, either intoxicated every day using you know pharmaceuticals that are mind altering frequency lowering uh, addicted to even worse uh, if, you know there's so much out there that can lower your frequency and numb your mind and actually destroy brain cells y you know those people again eating all the fast foods with all the nanotech and the gmos and and the toxins yeah they're probably not going to wake up too much so to them it's going to seem like it always was but to those that are getting clearer, are valuing their spiritual practice, are starting to get themselves outside of all the frequencies that are made to control your consciousness, yeah, you're seeing it for what it is, and you're realizing, huh, they've really been pulling the wool over humanity's eyes for a very long time. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes I think m maybe people mistake those who have abilities or, or those who are spiritual for people who might easily be you know pushed around or something I'm, I'm not sure where that's coming from but when your instincts are sharp you're better able than anyone to keep yourself out of harm's way when it comes to other people you learn how to read those vibes and you feel them then you take appropriate action whatever that action might be you know, people are going to be in situations where they might need to protect yourself and you're going to need your instincts are going to have to be sharp. Yeah, absolutely. And for me personally, my, my introduction uh, to meditation and meditative practices really came from going to karate and starting to study uh, karate and hapkido and uh, judo and jujitsu. It wasn't so so much promoted but there was something that was touched on there and and i really resonated with all that and then when personally i i ended up rupturing discs uh, i transitioned into more of tai chi and then qigong exclusively pretty much i would still work out because I, I always thought that it's a good workout you know practicing uh something along the lines of uh, martial arts it's a great workout, flexibility, cardio, etc. But it's that mind-body-breath practice that is so incredibly invaluable. Just so invaluable in these times because we need to stay rooted and grounded. And yet we also need to have the body be healthy. They're attacking all of that. You know, and I know there's a lot of well-meaning people out there and they're really pushing hard, you know, to have like stuff like toothpaste and and other things stocked up. But look at so many things that are sold at Walmart or the dollar store. I mean, they're just pure poison. And, and Patriot Supply, you know, I, 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 gosh, you look at the ingredients in that, and that's not going to really sustain someone for very long. If, that, if you have to eat those meals three times a day, 
and in day in and day out you're not going to be feeling too good in a couple of weeks and but that's why we did the other video a couple days ago about how we prep in this house so that our bodies are going to make it through a very difficult time because you're going to be under stress too so you're under stress you add the toxins and you add add things like fluoride it's just not going to go well for very long i think we might be in a position where we're going to have a bumpy road and it's going to it's going to last a little while so we have to be lasting with it yes absolutely so one step away from full-scale world war three is what we are hearing and we're being warned of and I mentioned the Polish psychic just because he was getting impressions that Poland, uh, for instance, could find itself in the midst of this war, the Baltic states. And this is what, you know, I've been saying, too, uh, for a long time, that Poland probably b would be one of the next ones that would see action. But it'd be concurrent with also going into like Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, where right now, you know, NATO is <laughs> making a countless number of bunkers and getting ready um, but the reality is you know again this this has a predetermined outcome still you have to carry it out and and they still have to carry it out and you know every soldier has a right to say yay or nay at first of course you know you're you're probably going to have a lot more people just going along with whatever the orders are but as time wears on, you'll see that more and more people will will criticize and question the orders coming on down. And in the Civil War, for instance, I always bring up uh, there was a Matthew McConaughey movie that was based on uh, historical facts where in Mississippi, you had groups of deserters from both sides of the war working with uh, freed slaves and living in Bayou uh, because they didn't want to fight. They, they just wanted to get out of the way of the war until things calmed down. And that's exactly what they did. Because, again, the war is, is something that it does damage souls. Whether you, if you have the opportunity to, 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 again, get out of harm's way, or if you want to be obstinate and just say, I'm going to defend this territory um, you, you might be able to defend your territory and if it really got bad and push came to shove and and you had to take another's um, life on this planet that definitely does damage the soul it really really does whether it's totally justified or not it is something that is it needs to be processed and from what we have been able to see looking at people that have departed this world some of the worst places are, are the battle zones as there are still ghosts of of civil war uh, battles roaming around the places where they did kill people and were killed themselves so again it's much better to just get out of the way wherever possible when uh, that steamrolling train is coming downtown, you, you don't want to be on the tracks. You want to get off the tracks wherever possible again. So Russia's mulling a security buffer zone as Ukrainian drones shut down 600,000 barrels of daily refining. Th this, what would this look like? Um, yeah, well, it looks like it's going to be more of a land grab when you see Russia is itself being attacked now more and more uh, by Ukrainian drones and more and more Russian citizens are losing their, their lives, this is going to do exactly what was intended by it. Uh, it's going to goad Russia into acting, and this may very well include uh, taking over a much larger portion of Ukraine and perhaps even Poland itself or Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, maybe all of the above. And don't forget that China has come out and said now an attack on Russia is basically like an attack on us. You, you know the NATO doctrine and that's exactly what China has said. It will defend Russia anywhere in the world now. So that's huge. Meanwhile, this is just Weird and curious, you have Obama 
in London meeting with the UK's Rishi Sunak. Hmm, they're smoking some Cuban cigars. Yeah, isn't that curious? What's really going on there? You know, pictures of Kate Middleton have come out. You have Prince Charles making a statement that he wouldn't do chemo. He would do natural options. He's not really one for chemo. Boy, that, that, that's really curious. You know, I mean, is Kate Middleton alive or has she been uh, diana You know, it, it's... It's again, it, when you're when you're living with lizards, it's just it's an ugly situation. I wouldn't want to do it. And those were my thoughts, too. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this is the United States Navy News Fleet and Marine Tracker. What do we see? Well, right now, in reality, there's uh, less strike capability around the Middle East, which is a little bit curious. And there's a lot focused on, on Asia. And, you know, when you see these, these, this is U.S. Coast Guard. 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 So, you know, again, our Coast Guard is far away from home. And they're looking to send more anywhere they can. Just get them out of the U.S. And here you have Peter Navarro going to prison for four months sentence. Everything they can do to create that civil war uh, scenario is something that they are absolutely trying to do. As you know, 45 has had his legal issues, and it's just a big, like, days of our lives. Um, what's some of those others? Guiding light as the world turns. General Hospital. General Hospital. I mean, it, it feels like that. It, it, yeah, it really does. And, and it is in so many ways, too. So if you're watching any of those shows, you know, the same thing is going on with our control people. Now, we live in an area that should have a lot of water. Um, n normally, we get three to five or six inches a month, typically, besides August. Um, but at the same time, we do have some uh, rain barrels. We're going to work on more water catchment. Um, we're looking into having our own well as we use a very, very small local uh, source for water. Uh, and I was thinking about water purification. Uh, we do have one of these uh, type of filters, which uh, does do fluoride and, and TDS and chlorine and the like. And you know, it, the water does taste great coming out of it. The brand that we have is Pure Well. It's like a Berkey. I, I really like it. I, I mean, I love it. It's my new favorite. So now the, the other ones are just sitting there collecting water. They have water in them, but I, I like drinking out of this one. Well, yeah, new toy for you. This is the newest one we, we have. We have this too. And this is a reverse osmosis that puts the minerals back in. Uh, this has been our main one. It's a countertop version because we bought it in the other house and we knew we were going to be moving as we got the feeling from the guides we wanted to be farther away from the border uh, we wanted to be uh, farther away from people in a smaller uh, town area we've had alexa pure for years we still have that and we also have zero water as well so yeah we have duplicity and and i have a a stock of filters i've made sure that we have filters to last several years um, and we have life straws. Again, uh, there's about four or five of those that we have as well. We also have some um, chemicals, water purifying tablets um, as well. We have one of these shower filters because, you know, your body, your skin can absorb things as well. Um, and, you know, it definitely, definitely helps because we're so exposed to toxins all the time. And this is a bath ball, too, so you put this under the spout, and, and it'll remove, again, 99.99% .99 of all, you know, different impurities. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were just thinking, too, or I was thinking that um, in, a, in a pinch, you know, I, you would at least have these to filter water, large amounts of water, if you, if you really, really needed to. Like, if all the other ones broke, you would have these. So, um, I guess we decided to do this rather than a whole house filter. Because I just don't trust the whole house filter. And, and you, we don't want to leave. But, right. but at the same time, if something happened, we could grab all these and go. 
instead of getting under or you know uninstalling something and in the middle of who knows what and you know it's always good to have backup and have other places to go family friends loved ones make contacts um one of the family members reached out to us who's a supporter on patreon and that person is blessed to have investments and investment houses but they're all in a spot that i don't think is great uh, when we look to the states, I think the states um, clearly are heading to a breakup. And there's some states that are probably going to be more problematic than others. And well, they just feel like they're making that quick transition to becoming like Canada and like Australia and New Zealand, where people already don't have... Um, <laughs> You know the right to free speech or, or or the second amendment as well you know so some states are going to really resist that so you're you're probably better off in a redder state even though we could find ourselves under new uh government very shortly uh i still think um i trust what the guide said and they said move towards the center of the of the country is what they kind of told us and I'm still going to be interested in seeing how that manifests, but I, I do trust it. I do know that the coastlines are where two-thirds of the people live within 100 miles of the coastline. So 200-plus million people live along uh, within 100 miles of the coastline in the U.S. And the U.S. is about 70-75% of our audience, you know, uh, as far as... Um, other countries might not be exactly the same percentage, but it is common to find civilizations and settlements of the larger variety around water sources. Yeah, you know, that's why people went there in the first place, because water, water is so critical. You know, we can definitely survive quite a bit with uh, without food or with low food. But, yeah, you won't survive long without water. And our water, unfortunately, in this world is pretty toxic. So good water filtration is an absolute must. Indeed. And I would also recommend, again, that be importable. And, and have a duplicity. So stock up while you can because, you know, things are really moving really fast. And this kitty is too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kitty's so cute. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.